Blessing streamers, this week on Metaphysical Monday Madness, we are going to discuss Papas. First, a little side note, I want to take a moment to let y'all know that while I try to go live every Monday evening, I have a few health issues that occasionally give me very low energy and I have to postpone. But I will record and get it posted on House of Sage and Lavender, this channel right here, as soon as I am able. So, on to, to this week's topic. A poppet is a doll created to represent a person that you're doing magic on, whether it's for yourself or someone else. Poppets are a form of sympathetic magic. Poppets are also known as magical dolls, spirit dolls, voodoo dolls, with the latter being given a negative connotation due to the movies and fiction. Puppets can be used for a variety of reasons, with the most known being for hexes and curses. But I suggest actually doing research on your own and be prepared for any consequences from using them as such. Well, in my personal craft, I, I practice as I see fit. Um, in this video, I am starting off with the latter side for my neophyte followers. The most common light used in poppets is healing, and is a major part for me using poppet magic. Poppets in healing can be used for family, friends, pets, yourself, anyone. I have used poppets for specific people, and I have also used general representation for people. I have a simple poppet that gets cleansed after each use, and I have a chakra specific one I use. <clears throat> Alright guys, so here is my chakra one. It's just black felt. Um, it has just polyfill stuffing and then uh, different color buttons to represent each um, chakra. I also have a what I call a soul doll. Um, I actually need to look up that information. I didn't do that for this video, but um, which is for my spe for myself specifically. It just represents um, me. So that's that. And then of course I've shown y'all my prosperity ones in a previous video. Um, so an, like I said, another light option and one of my favorites is in use for prosperity. You can find more on this one in my new moon ritual video, um, May 2020. They can be made out of any material. Cloth, um, felt, these are just the ones I have in patterns, um, paper, clay, but cloth dolls are the easiest as you can fill them with personal concerns of the person you are working on, and add in crystals, herbs, and curios that can benefit your magic. To make a poppet, choose your medium, and if you want to use color association, you can find that easily enough online. Since I'm showing y'all how to make a healing poppet, we are going to be using light blue. Here are a few of um, the different patterns I have um, for my poppets. I do do poppet kits um, in my shop. Um, these are just the, my goddess shaped ones. I do have a horned god uh, one. And I also have, okay, this one's kind of messed up because the stuff came out. I have, um, ones that are gingerbread shape. Um, if you go check my Pinterest sport on poppets, which will be linked in the comments, I will have a variety of different info for you to look at at your leisure. Um, to make a poppet, you're going to want to cut out a figure from any fabric you like. I'm using felt, and like I said, I've already had this one cut out, so we're going to use this one. Um, as for the shade, the classic gingerbread style figure is popular. I personally like to change up the shade depending on what they are used for. This one is just going to be for general healing, so I am just going to use the um, one of my goddess shaped ones. All 
After cutting it out and before I start sewing it and filling it, I want to add some health symbols. Um, so what I'm going to do is, I don't know if this is going to work for embroidery thread. I got blue, dark blue embroidery thread. I don't And I'm just going to cut a small little piece I use the scissors that don't want to work. Let me get closer to the thing so I can do this. Um, so this is gonna be pretty thick. I'm kind of gonna I'm gonna go ahead and take the strings down to two. I think two will fit through the needle. I'm just gonna unravel it like so. And where did I fit? So there are different um, health symbols. There's um, no one for uh, ruin for health. Um, I'm just going to do a little spiral, I think. If I can get it threaded. There we go. Alright. I'm going to thread it and knot it if you want to fast forward through this part that's fine um you can also take a sharpie and draw it on there um you can add eyes if you want um buttons or bees and just sew them on there glue them on there Pretty much any way you would like. Um, I am going to take and do it spiral on the belly. So mine's not going to be perfect because um, I'm not, embroidery is not kind of my thing, but So guys, um, if y'all have any suggestions for any upcoming um, Mon Metaphysical Monday Madness videos, please leave them in the comments um, or any other um, video requests. Um, I am doing Summer Solstice um, coming up, I'm probably not this coming Monday, um, but the Monday after, uh, the 15th, because that's the week before. Um, I'm also thinking of doing some cemetery walks of the small uh, cemeteries that are local to me. Um, but I'm not, I plan, that's going to be like a little series and I don't, I'm not going to do that until probably fall because, um, the summer he's already 
peeking in and because of my health I can't um, handle the heat too bad and I only have access to our one vehicle on the weekends so but that is coming up probably in the fall I'm actually um, just made a post on my Facebook earlier to see if anybody's going to want to do it with me. I'm definitely aiming for uh, late September, early October for that. Um, just in time for the ancestors. busy. Uh, looks like a six right now, but it's, I'm just going to do a couple more around and then we will start um, sewing it so that we can stuff it. If y'all like nature walks, y'all should check out my friend um, Steven's channel. That's Stephen Rose. Um, his pic the, it's S-T-E-V-E-N R-O-S-E. And the little um, picture is of a Texan's cape or whatever. He does videos on different things. He does, he has videos on wrestling, um, different topics in from the news but he just started doing um, nature walk videos so um, hike hiking videos um, we actually have plans to check out a couple um, closer I mean close to me he's already gone to like um, the Lake Houston Wilderness Park. He's gone to um, Oyster Creek and Sugarland. Um, some parks over by him. Um, we want to go check out uh, Dwight E. Eisenhower Park. Um, Alexander Dusen Park, which we've gone to that one before, but we haven't uploaded that video. Um, Jesse Jones Park, Mercer Albert Freedom. Um, Y'all have our local in Nova Vane that um, we should check out, or he should check out. Be sure to um, let me know, or go over to his channel and comment on his videos and let him know. Um, I'll actually link his latest um, nature video at the end um, on the screen and then I will leave a link in the comments. I think that's good. That's that's um that's a little spiral. You can tell it's a spiral so I'm just going to leave it like that. I'm going to knot off the back here. Knotted it on the back. Can cut that off. Set the needle to the side for a second. And then I'm just going to 
I don't know if I want to. I think I'm gonna do. I was gonna use um, light blue thread to stitch it, but I kind of like the contrast of the dark blue and the light blue. Um, so that's so I'm going to take scraps of this off. I am just setting the scrap um, of running thread to the side because. Um, I have like a little jar with scrap. Uh, feeling uh, like scrap threads for that I also use um, for stuffing. So I'm just going to do what I did in take apart embroidery thread. Okay, well, it's going to. We got caught. Okay, there we go. Again, thread the needle. going to start sewing it. Of course I want to start on the inside so they're not hidden. I usually start at the bottom. It Obviously I need to knot that again. Start at the bottom, and I'm just going to do uh, I think it's called a whip stitch, and just go.
So as you're doing this, just keep making sure that your um, edges are lined up the way you want them. I'm going to pause this while I'm doing this and I will come back when I get a little bit more done. Alright guys, I'm back. Um, I went ahead and I had sewed up um, the rest of that one side and then I went ahead and sewed up the other side all the way around. Um, I went ahead and stuffed the arms and head with some um, stuffing, some polyfill because those are actually a little bit harder to work with, um, especially in the smaller size that I have. So, the poppy can be filled with scrap fabric, cotton, or bits of clothing that belong to the person you're creating the doll for. Since I am doing a general healing poppet, um, I have a few things here that I'm going to put in here. Um, other links such as hair, nail clippings, or bodily fluids can be added to the doll at this point, along with crystals, herbs, and a petition paper with the name of the person you're working on along with what you like the outcome of your magic to be. A picture of the person can also be used if you can't get any other links. I am using some amethyst chips, um, pink quartz, and citrine chips, four stones. For herbs, I am going to be using peppermint. I only have a little bit left in here. Um, lavender and chamomile. The rest is just going to be polyfill. Right, so I'm going to go ahead. I have a little hole from, and I'm just going to start putting the herbs and the chips and stuff in it. So I'm going to do a little bit of amethyst. The rose quartz. Chamomile. Lavender. Some pie fill. Just basically, and make sure it's, you know, got a good amount of filling in there. You don't want it too uh, full and you don't want it too, um, too, t too stuffed. So I'm going to put a little bit more polyfill in here. And then I'm just going to finish stitching it up. Now, 
I want to make a note here that um, if you're making this for a specific person and you don't know if they have any allergies to the items that you are putting in there, then just do the polyfill and, a sim and the symbol. Um, we don't want, um, or, oh, and the stones. The stones are also good. Leave out the herbs if you um, aren't sure of any allergies or if the person does have allergies of the items that, uh, the herbs that you would, would put in there. Because that would be counterintuitive to what the poppet is for. Now, if you're doing the, like a poppet for someone for like love, and they have an allergy to a specific um, herb or item that you're putting in there, you can substitute. There's a, there's different things um, that you can substitute for um, herbs. Stones are probably going to be your safest bet on, um, as far as the, uh, right, let's get this one more in there, and then we're going to try to do this so I can see if we can figure out how to do this without Okay, and then of course, you know, and there we have a really pop it. So after you stitch up your doll, it will now be ready to be worked on. Um, here we're going to do a simple healing spell as an example of what we can do for it. Um, you could light a candle. Um, I'm just going to um, hold it and quote, Earth below, sky above, fill the dark of night with love. The morning sun will take my pain and I will wake renewed again. The time has come, renewed my son, to count my blessings one by one. So I hope that this helps y'all. Um, and if you enjoyed this content, give me a thumbs up. Leave me some comments if you have questions. And hit that subscribe bell so you don't miss a, an upload. Blessed be.